Hello. <laughs> do you know how to read notes and also know basic scales? So no major, minor chords, but when you see the lead sheets, you have no idea what to do or kind of know, but I'm not sure what to do. Or you have no idea what the lead sheet is. Let's talk about it. Oh, by the way, I'm Senga Nuna and Bubuji. Come here. Come here. You want to say hi? Come on. Come on. This dog is Bubuji, by the way. Oh, it was a very sleepy dog. So we're going to talk about how I use lead sheets. Okay. Okay. When I upload videos with just lead sheets without piano score, then sometimes people leave comments. Hey, where's the left hand? I think you missed the left hand. I didn't miss it. It's lead sheet. You know, lead sheets only have melody. Melody. You hear that? Melody and chords. Yeah, yeah, chords. And sometimes lyrics. That's it. Just these three things. Melody, chords, and sometimes lyrics. The super duper essential musical information is there, which I love. That's what I love about lead sheets because it's so simple to use and it gives you more chance to think and focus better on uh, creating your own sound. I think that's more important than we always focus on make it clear, perfect notes and being accurate. Being accurate following the notes is also very important, but that's not all for music, isn't it? So let's get to the point. So I chose one of my favorite songs to sing and accompany and play, which is Rachel Yamagata's Something in the Rain. When you look at the music, a treble clef, A key, 4-4, four, four, not bad. I can't even play it. 3-4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's just so easy, right? But what should I do with my left hand? So you see the chords A, F, G, minor 7, B minor 7, E7. But before we go there, talking about chords, if you are a little bit still not really confident to read chords, especially if you're a classically trained pianist. So no, reading notes are no problem, but I'm still a little bit not really comfortable to read or chords. But but you want to try, then just try only root, like A, F sharp, B, E. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Just like that. Don't care about a major or minor. Just use that, just root from the top. Right hand, just read the notes. Left hand will go just root. Three, four. bad right you can do that and even beginner students they can do that and now you feel yeah i can do that but i want to add a little bit more then let's try maybe left hand one and five so a one which is a and five which is e and go just with this distance go just following the all the root Just like that. A little bit better than beat the other one. But you still feel like, it's still, it's kind of boring. Then maybe you can add more rhythm. But adding more notes or rhythm always makes sound cool. I don't think so. But just for example. So add 
mm. more notes than many people have questions. How do you do that? How do you bring or create that all oh, that notes not from the music? That's why I say you have to understand all the basic scales. Scales, not just chord. Chords are from scales. How about you don't know this song and never heard this song? So you have no idea what the song sounds like. Then maybe you can try the very easy, many people's favorite thing. Arpeggio. Easy. And another scenario could be you accompany, and let's say you have vocalist. So just accompany. It happens a lot actually for a pianist, right? Intro, and vocal comes. I feel you now from. And you just put that chord. You don't play the melody, and just play the rhythm. I'm uh, the chords, and keep that rhythm. Da -da. Fullest heart will never be apart. Add some notes. Follow that chord. You don't have to play melodies because you have the person who plays or sings the melody. Let's use different song. Why not? Here's another very popular standard jazz tune, Autumn Leaves. Let's say you got this music and you have no idea. But oh no, no, you got that idea. We just talked about it. Right hand, play the melody. Right? Left hand will play just root if you are not comfortable. Easy. And now, yeah, hey, I know some chords. This time, your right hand will play. The chords, every time when we see, when we have that chord symbol. First chord is A minor 7 and D7, G major 7. My left hand will use only root and other chords under the melody using right hand. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Why did I put that D7 chord? Because we have that symbol, chord symbol, D7, right? Again, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, one. Not bad. You still feel, it's still... I want to do something with my, my, my left hand. Then maybe, instead of playing only root, just, just share the notes, what I used right hand. Share with your left hand. <laughs> Let's add more some rhythm. Very simple. I will go half. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Left hand, we use only first and fifth. In A minor seven, which is A and E. One, two, two, one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five. And right hand, add chord. So I use that half rhythm, 2-2. Two, two. How about quarter, which sound will be kind of bass walking? This time I will go still simple, 1-5. 
you're gonna just arrange one five. One, one five, one five, still five, right? Just go down. One five in D, one five, one five. So go up and down, but still only use one and five. Right and go is just simple, only melody. Chords. Right and chords. Ooh, not bad. If you are advanced and if you think, hey, I can do more than that, I, I want to be busier than that, then when you look at the right hand, and hold and do nothing, right? At that point, you add some certain rhythm. How about one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, three, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, ba, ba, two, three, one, two, ba, ba. So that's how I use lead sheets and nowadays it comes not only for jazz music, it comes a lot of a lot of different kind of music comes with lead sheets. So why not just try, just have fun. Being a musician, it's so natural thing to think about that. What should I do? Which notes should I use? What kind of rhythm should I put this part? Thinking about that thing is just, that's the definition of being a musician, I think. So. Think about it and just pause at the moment, even just for one measure. Are you gonna play E minor seven this way? Or this, or this, or this, or this. There's so many different ways to make just one chord. And you gotta think and just spend so many times, then you will eventually make your own sound. And that's the thing. That's the difference between reading piano scores and lead sheets because you have your own sound you're gonna have fun and you're gonna have more freedom i believe so please have fun so using lead sheets will give you absolutely more 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 fun because it, it's gonna be more you even same song everyone uses the same lead sheets but the sound will be all different all different how it's amazing so why not let's go try why not right now thank you for watching and i hope this video was a little bit even just a little bit helpful but if you have more questions and if you'd like to know something or if you want to hear something from me leave comments please i will check it out oh wait 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 wait! thank you so much for your thumbs up and nice encouragement comments thank you very much this is for you Hoo-hoo! yes <laughs> Always thank you and thank you for sharing this video and my channel with your friends and family and subscribe you already subscribed right you you not maybe maybe not oh why not why not this is the time it's just free you know thank you very much see you in the next video oh by the way i'm singanuna i feel Not done yet